Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the alternate build to the Halo Infinite Warthog Rally. But before we start looking at the builds, I want to take another quick look at Chief. Now, after I was done recording the review for the Warthog Rally, I noticed something kind of interesting. So, this new Master Chief uses the chest plate and back plate of the Mark IV, I believe it's Mark IV Spartan Armor, which is what this dude right here is. And from all appearances, the mold has not really changed at all. They look pretty much the same. The new one might be a little bit more crisp, but that's about it. Until you turn them around, and I almost thought there was something wrong with Chief when I noticed this. It's the same back piece. Mega just cut the spine off. So we now have two variations of the same piece, which I find quite interesting. Now, while we're up close like this, let's start looking at the alternate builds and look at this wing pack. This is kind of the secondary secondary build it's is made with some of the leftover pieces and honestly it kind of feels like an afterthought to me just a little um i mean i get this is a thing that kids can have fun with because it's pretty cool to have master chief attached to this glider there's what i guess these could be guns um it just feels a little weak to me though it looks all right, but I don't think it's worth taking apart uh, the Warthog just to get this uh, wing pack. Alrighty, now here's the real star of the second build, which is this boat here. And I don't think that this has any grounds in the game itself. I really don't. Uh, Lego does things like this all the time where you can rebuild a set into something else. And they don't necessarily stick to the theme exactly to you know make the second build accurate I think this is just something that they found they could build out of the warthog parts and so they decided to you know, make some instructions for it now the instructions were kinda confusing to me they can be found on the Mega Constructs website I'll put a link down in the description um, they're they work all right, but they're they're a little on the confusing side. They're a little less refined than the actual paper instructions we get. The boat, however, I was actually really surprised at this. Like this is kind of genius the way they use pieces from the warthog to make this. And I mean, it looks nice. It looks very nice. Not exactly Halo, but it looks really cool you've got the gun here you can even turn it around and shoot yourself not sure why they would make the gun on a boat be able to swivel around to the cockpit but I don't really see any point in them making a way to you know stop that um, let's pop the marine out if you will come out there we go got a little lever here and a steering wheel, which I find this a little odd. The steering wheel is on the top of the window. So it's like, what's the point of the window if you're standing above the window all the time? But, I mean, it's a second build, so that's a minor nitpick. We use the uh, inner parts of some of the tires as the engines. They can move up and down. That's pretty nice. Uh, there's a piece of the... Uh, actual engine here, which I forgot to point these out when I was looking at the Warthog. I don't know if these pieces are new or not, but they're very nice looking. And then we've got some gas cans on the side. And I've seen some people point out, uh, why would you put gas cans on the side of a military boat? The, that's a target, you know, one well-placed shot right there and the whole thing is gone. The boat does not use all of the pieces from the set. You can see this is what we have left over, an entire suspension block. You don't have to take that apart at all, which I really appreciate because these things are a little on the tedious side to build just because you have to put on so many of those clips. Uh, you do have to take one mostly apart and then 
you just got a bunch of pieces that you know don't really get used and actually these here and this clip came from the pile of extra parts that were around after uh, building the warthog itself so the big question is whether it's worth taking apart your warthog to build this or not um honestly no the warthog is a lot cooler than the boat and is just it's more halo and works just a lot better but i do really appreciate that they gave us this option this boat is actually really neat i was really pleased with the way it came together the design is pretty much genius uh, I do feel like they could have used some more of the parts because that's a lot of parts. But, I mean, for what it is, it worked out pretty well. Oh, marine overboard. But uh, I would not recommend you go rush to take apart your, um, your Warthog just to build this. And, <laughs> like I said, definitely not the wing pack. The wing pack feels pretty pretty much like an afterthought they were like oh hey we have a lot more pieces let's make chief a wing pack it just the whole thing feels very un halo like now if you wanted to get an extra one of these sets and build the boat as kind of something to use with the call of duty line i could see that working and i would i think i would do that if i could find an extra hog in my area so overall i think that the idea of secondary builds for this whole wave was a really good one um you know it like i said it's not particularly worth dismantling your warthog for but i definitely appreciate that they've done this and appreciate the work that's been put into it. it this boat does not feel like an afterthought it feels very well very well designed but just not better than the warthog Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.